not under the same situation. So again, this is the first at home hero wad. The goal for today is to do this under 10 minutes. Um, yeah, let's start doing it. So, all right, I'm gonna put you on mute. I'm gonna put everyone on mute for now. And let's go ahead and get in some Simon Shuffle. Just to start this off with some bouncing in place. And then while you're bouncing in place, I'm gonna talk about feet, okay? In fact, here are my feet right here. See that? Now I'm out on the edges of my feet and now I'm pushed all the way down in on my arches. And can you guess, you don't have to answer because I can't hear you. Can you guess what my knees look like right now? Right, with my arches falling in, yep, my knees are like that. And then as I press my knees out to the side, I move out to the edges of my feet. So let's go ahead and do that for a second. I want you just to have, you go ahead and stop your Simon Shuffle. Put your feet flat on the ground. Try and cave your arches in first and then push your knees together. So that's a, that's a position you don't wanna find yourself in, right? And now, push your knees out and get all the way out to the edges of your arches with your toes off the ground and you're out on the outside edges, the rails of your, of your feet. And then back into the middle, right? So start by putting your toes flat on the mat, your big toe touches, your arches cave in and then your knees go together. So moving all the way in and all the way out. So just go through that three or four times. All right. So the way we want to end up standing, the way we want to connect with the ground is somewhere in between. So let's do this. Go way out on the rails and then continue pushing out in that direction as if you're splitting a towel, right? My toes are up off the ground. I have no shoes on so you can see this. And then now one toe by one toe, I'm gonna put it down onto the mat until the big toe's on the ground and I have this pressure going on the outside edge of the rails. Now I'm gonna move out slightly into squat stance and I'm gonna get in a set of five squats keeping all of the toes gripping into the ground and that outside pressure on the rails of the feet. Great. So you know that if your toe comes up off the ground, if in the course of doing this, your toes come up off the ground or you see light underneath the sole of your shoe where your foot should be, you keep that, keep that connected to the ground. Okay, the next drill I wanna do, I'm gonna show you from the side. Let me get a bigger view here. I'm gonna get all the way up into my toes, like leaning forward, hands out in front, leaning forward, almost so that I start to, to slide forward. Right, so I'm gonna get all the way to my toes as if like if there's a 50 mile an hour wind blowing into me, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna lean forward at the toes, right? My quads are tight, my glutes are on and I'm just leaning forward and I'm gonna get way in my toes. And then I'm gonna do the exact opposite. I'm gonna lean back as if the wind is blowing me over, almost blowing me over. My toes come up off the ground and my weight is in the heels. And then I'm gonna rock forward do the exact opposite. Weight way in the toes. The toes are actually clenching onto the ground as I'm leaning forward. My glutes actually have to tighten up, my quads tighten up to hold myself on the ground. And then the exact opposite. Get the weight way back in the heels. The toes are lifting up off the ground, leaning back. And then finding that balance point right in between, right? Forward, backwards. 
And then I want you to gradually go forward, backwards, forwards, backwards, as you put that lateral pressure into the ground. Right? And then you're set. Rails of the feet driven into the ground. Base of the big toe. Feel that it's like nailed to the ground. It's stuck to the ground. And now push the hips back and get in a set of five squats. Keep that big toe locked onto the ground. Go a little wider, Eric, with your stance, just a little bit. All right. I want you to practice this at some point today with no shoes on, um, on solid ground, just so that you can, um, you can get a little bit of this visual of yourself doing this. I'm gonna show you just one more time. Right, the difference between being caved in in the ankles, where the outside edges of the feet are coming off the ground or are unweighted and all the weight is in the toe, so that's a no. Right, all the way out, that's a no, right? I don't wanna squat in this position. Even though my knees are in the right place, I have no pressure there. So we wanna make sure that we feel pressure through point number one, which is the base of the big toe, Point number two, which is the outside edge, and then the heel. So we have those three points of contact. Please do five more air squats, feeling the connection of those three points of the feet, and just getting warmed up with five more air squats. All right. Those are the feet. I promised that yesterday in the WAD preview that we would go over our, our basic connection of how our feet engage with the ground. So I'd like, you to, I'd like to encourage you over the next couple of days or so to do a couple of workouts with no shoes on, even if, actually, especially if it's heavy lifting. If you wanna try that today, it would be interesting. Um, I won't require you to, but I will suggest over the next couple of workouts Try and get an entire workout in um, without any shoes on. All right, let's do this. Take a single dumbbell, make it, make it, a, make it a, the lighter of the two or three that you have. And I just want to get in a set of Romanian deadlifts to get the hamstrings warmed up. So a little bend in the knee, a break in the knee, push the hips back. Let's go for a set of eight of these and then jump up the weight and get a set of eight air squats. Eight Romanian deadlifts, eight air squats. And once you put your weight down from the air squats, raise your hand if you've already got your 100 push-ups in one day square on your bingo card. Has anyone already done 100 push-ups in a day? Oh, Pam, there you go. I knew somebody had. Pam has, Jordan has. Today might be a good day to do it. All right. Let's go ahead and get um, either a PVC pipe or a towel or something and go for a set of five pass-throughs through the middle. And then a couple of rotations on either side. And then if you've got your towel or your PVC pipe, go out to snatch grip and go all the way down to mid shin and get in a set of 
five muscle snatches, working on hip drive to overhead. And then after your fifth, your barbell, your PVC pipe is up overhead. Go for a set of five overhead squats. Again, paying attention to what the big toe is doing. Is it off the ground or is it crushed into the ground? Both of those are a no. Try and make sure that it's steady on the ground, but it's neither off the ground or pressed too hard into the ground. Great. Now we're going to go for a basic dumbbell or a basic barbell warm up. Um, in a bit, I'll demonstrate and give some suggestions for those of you with limited equipment how you're going to get through this five round workout, which is normally a barbell, normally a relatively heavy barbell. But let's first just get either a set of dumbbells or an empty barbell and get a set of deadlifts. Now on your deadlifts today, this is important. If you've got dumbbells, you don't necessarily have to go all the way down to touch the ground. The requirement for this is just that your barbell or your dumbbells go completely below your knee so that your wrist is below the knee. Technically that's low enough for a deadlift and that way you can keep rigid neutral spine and you're not gonna lose it trying to get that range of motion down to the ground. So go ahead and get three or four more of those deadlifts, right? If you've got a barbell, an empty barbell for right now, just go down to mid shin. Take it nice and slow, make sure the pace matches with, with the fact that you're trying to keep that barbell going straight up and down. Don't let it go around the knees. Move the knees around the bar. And now let's just bring the barbell right up into the front rack position. Barbell or dumbbells and get a set of push press. Again, pay attention to what the big toe is doing. Is it all the way off the ground? Is all the weight coming up into your toes and your heels coming off the ground? Keep those feet engaged, pressing through the earth for a set of five and then rest and right over left, left over right. Just warm up the arms a bit. Right, single arm swings, reverse, five or six repetitions. It's nice looking at the screen, seeing so many blue skies in the background. I, I hear that that will be changing over the next couple of days. It seems like we're going back into the rain. All right, now let's do this. Empty barbell or light dumbbells, get a single deadlift, a single hang power clean, and a single push press or push jerk, and come back to the ground and do it again. So four repetitions of this short complex, deadlift, hang power clean, push press or push jerk. Okay, and then after you've got three rounds through that, right, three rounds of one each, I want you to hold your dumbbell or your barbells just down at the, at the top of your deadlift. So everyone should be holding a dumbbell, or, that's two dumbbells or a barbell, right? And I want you just to get into the hang and then a jump shrug. So jump hard enough that your dumbbells or barbell drive into your extended arms and there's a shrug. So the order is hips open, shoulders shrug. So it goes hips, shoulders. Please get five of the jump shrug. 
that powerful blast through the middle. No elbow bend yet. And then just go ahead and place your bar or dumbbells back on the ground. So that hip drive, that speed through the middle from the hang into this drive, the glutes squeeze, the shoulders shrug, everything's open and that's when the dumbbell or the barbell is gonna float. I'm gonna do three hang power cleans. And notice how the elbows don't bend until the hips pop, until the hips completely open. Okay, pick up your object and get in five hang power cleans. Feeling that it's hips drive, then the elbows pull. Nice, Cecily. Yeah, that looks good, Eric. And then you can go ahead and put that down to the ground. Now, I know most of us are limited with a variety of weights or even many bumper plates at all. But I do see that everyone has um, either barbell or dumbbells. But I'm going to go through this really quickly. Just if anyone's watching happens to have a kettlebell, like a single kettlebell, this entire workout can be done asymmetric, right? So I can get in six deadlifts on the right six deadlifts on the left. That would count for my 12 deadlifts. Then I can get in a hang, power clean. All right, I could go five on the right, four on the left, whatever. And then straight up overhead for a set of presses, three on the right, switch over to three on the left. And that would be one round of DT with a single kettlebell. You could do it with two kettlebells. You could do the entire thing with this Dynamax here. Right? I think I would encourage you to get in a squat clean instead of a hang clean because it's pretty light. And then going up overhead. All right. So that's just some of the stuff. Got it. Can I ask a quick question? It's Pam. Yes. So I have a 15 kg barbell, which I think is kind of light, but yep. a 35 pound kettlebell, which for the push press for me is uh, like heavy. So yeah. should I try and do it one arm <laughs> like you just showed? Um, can you get three in a row on the right and three in a row on the left? Slowly, yes. Well, I, I, I think. I think you're going to be one of those people that mixes and matches this. Okay. So maybe you get in your, um, your deadlifts and your cleans, and then you pick up the kettlebell and get in three presses and three presses. Okay. Uh, another thing that you could do, Pam, is instead of doing hang power cleans, is hang squat cleans on your barbell. Okay. Even that's not going to be heavy for you, but it's something that will take, it'll, it'll cause you to do more work. It'll stretch out the workout a little bit longer so you hit the time domain. Um, yeah, and I know there, so Pam has, has that, um, Dusty's going to modify some movements based on range of motion that he can hit right now. Um, anyone else have any, anything interesting going on that they want to talk, they want to share with the group? All right. If not, what I'd like you to do, right, uh, Eric, yeah? Let's see. Yeah. Or if the weight for the all exercise is either too heavy or too light. Are we going too heavy or too light? So I've got the choice of between like 30 and 40 kilos. Yeah. My limitation is the push press. You're, you're going to do 40 kilos. Okay, heavier though. Yep. Go, going a, a bit heavier today, if you have the weights, if you have the means, I would prefer to you to go a little heavier than to go on the lighter side. Because this then could could sort of count as a heavy day rather than a, a, a very sort of a very mixed, mixed workout day. All right. What I'd like you to do here 
is to go is to bump it up a bit. So Eric, you should go to 30 kilos right now. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Um, if you have a set of dumbbells that's a little heavier, it may even be the set of dumbbells that you're going to do during the workout. So for me, I have a set of 40 pound dumbbells. So I'll put away my 25s. I'll break out my 40s. And I'm going to go for a partial round right now just to feel out the movement. I'm going to do six deadlifts, five hang power cleans, and three presses. So six, five, three. Again, those dumbbells only need to go past the knees. In some ways, that's a little bit more difficult because you have to put the brakes on yourself rather than allowing the grounds to be the brakes. Remember, keep those elbows locked. Belly tight, keep the chest up in the dip and drive. All right, so this is a partial round here. All right, Maria's got, I think is that a 15 kilo bar, Maria, with fives? All right. That feels heavy today. <laughs> it does. Well, as we get a little bit more warmed up, you'll feel, I won't say lighter and lighter, but it will feel more manageable. To me, the, the hang power cleans with 40 pounds felt pretty heavy. Daryl, do you have it? You just have a single dumbbell? I've just got a dumbbell and a, and a kettlebell. How heavy are each of them? I've got a 25 and a one food. And a, what's it? A food is a 35? Yeah, 25 and a 35. So here's what you can do. Um, here's the example, Daryl. I have a kettlebell and a dumbbell now. Mine both happen to be the same load. <laughs> you could do all your dumb deadlifts, right? Maybe one round it can be on this side. The next round it can be on this side. Right. Then you'll set it down. 12 reps. And double ball swings. Then you'll we'll get in six kettlebell swings and then six goblet squats. Okay. You'll we'll use that kettlebell to go up overhead on the right for three reps. And then to go up on the left for three reps. Okay. So you have a, a bit more variety in the movement, but what I like about that is that you're going to do the deadlifts with two objects. One okay. object in each hand. All right. Is it okay that yeah, I put food. the two tens underneath? Yeah. Have to go. Yep, for sure. You're not going to put the tens on that barbell, Maria? I don't think so. <laughs> All right. So after you've taken a minute or two of rest, I want you to consider a, a, the load that you might be using for the workout. And you're going to go through an entire round of DT. You're going to get in 12 deadlifts, nine hang power cleans, and six push presses or push jerks. And I'd like you to try and do it unbroken without resting at all. And you can do it as fast as you can. I just want to see what that looks like. Rest for a second, Daryl, because I want you to go through this with, with everyone at the same time. So 
I'm going to give you about 20 seconds to find, um, to find the movements that you're going to do, to find the object that objects that you're going to use. All right, that looks good, Dusty. Okay, I'm going to bring the clock in here a little bit closer. And when you finish your single round, like imagine this is a one round workout. I'd like you to come in and take a look at what your time is for the single round. All right. So go ahead and move over to your weights. Here we go. One single round. Again, this is not the workout. This is one single round. Three, two, one, go. 12 deadlifts. Nine hang power cleans. So Daryl, get six swings. Put down your dumbbell. Get six swings on the kettlebell. And then Daryl, you're gonna do another set of six goblet squats. All right, we're at a minute, six seconds right now. And then presses on the right hand, Daryl, presses on the left hand. So Pam, I kind of rethought yours. I think what might be nice to do with the barbell is, um, is do push jerks on your barbell rather than single arm presses. At least then you're working the positioning for the jerk. The, okay. the, the push jerk? Yeah. So uh, in that one round, I did single arm deadlifts, single arm hang power cleans with the, both with the kettlebell. Yep, I saw that. I have a 20 pound river rock that I did the push press with, but I can pick up the barbell. And I think pick up the barbell and get some push jerks because it, it's nice to get the barbell in your hands to do um, some skill work on that as well. Okay. So notice that right now we're at the two minute mark. If that took you two minutes, I want you to shorten something or change something about that. Those of you that finished at one minute, understand that of course, as you go through the workout, it will take you a little bit longer for each one. But if you can go a bit heavier than that, I would like you to finish these rounds somewhere between like, right about a minute and a half. All right. So now's the time to change the weight or, you know, add something to your barbell or decide to move over now instead of having the 25 pound dumbbells, you'll be over 40 pound dumbbells. The number five is too short. Say that again, Eric. 105 too short for one round. One minute, there were five seconds. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit too short. With 50, that's, that's going to be too heavy for me, I think. So, did you have 30 kilos on the bar for that? Uh, 40. All right. I think 50 is too much, but... I don't think so. <laughs> you like that, Tim? <laughs> Um, Tim, how much do you, what are you going to do this with? He's on uh, 80, um, 48 seconds and 55 kilo. 55 kilo. Okay. So try it out. Um, Eric, I think today, since you can go heavier, since you have the weights to do it, I think you should go heavier. Is anyone else having a question about that? Yeah, Joe, what do you think? So I normally do 30. 
I have 20 and I have 40. 40 will be way too heavy. Uh, yeah, now that's a pretty big jump. So I'm just doing 20 and kind of using this as my <laughs> just to move since it's my fourth day in a row. Got it. Okay. That makes sense. Did I do an extra round? I, that's what I was just going to introduce. So this idea, a couple of years ago at the games, they had DT. And what they did was that they let the crowd vote on their phones if they wanted to do, if they wanted the athletes in the competition to do a heavy DT, like instead of using 155 pounds, if they wanted to make it heavier, I don't know what it would have been. I think maybe 205 pounds. Or if they wanted them to do double DT, like same weight, but do 10 rounds of it. And that year they voted to do heavy DT. So they did five rounds of this at 205. The women may have done 155, um, which is like 85 kilos slash 55 kilos. But then what they did in the games the following year is they did a double DT. So that's my long way of saying, Joe, I think you should do six rounds um, of 12, nine, six at 20 kilos. Or you could do three rounds of 12, nine, six at 40. But no, since it's your fourth day in a row, I think that's, that's a good idea. Now let's do this. Go to whatever load that you're gonna use for the workout and get in an abbreviated set. For example, four deadlifts, three hang power cleans, and two push press. And that way you're gonna have your, you're gonna be acclimated to the load that you're gonna be using during the workout. Okay, that looks good, Cecily. That's 34 kilos, 75 is 34. And I would say, Cecily, consider doing six rounds. If everything feels good, consider, yeah, good. You and Dr. Joe are gonna do six rounds. What do you think, Eric? All right, okay, it's a little heavy. Now, what we know from the beginning, from the outset here, Eric, is that you're pushing a heavier load on this. Like if we would have had Dr. Joe do 40 kilos, we would have decreased the number of rounds. Um, I think you're still gonna finish in the right spot. So I'm gonna open up the, uh... oh yeah, Cecily, um, add some weight. I think if you move what, up. What's prescribed for this? Um, for it's, uh, it's a, it's 155 slash uh, 115. Okay. I think I can make that with what okay. I have. At, at least, at, at least go up to 95. Okay. I think if you can do that. Great. Mike? Yep. I'm going to stick with the 40, although it took me less than a minute. Yeah. Just because I want to see what I can do compared to the November. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. You see how it works? If a different person asks me the exact same question, the answer is not the same. Because there's a lot of different variables that we want to consider. Uh, let's see, Kim. You're, uh, let me get you back on. Okay, what's that, Kim? I'm going to do six rounds because I feel like my weights are a little bit on the light side, but I, I don't have, I'm like Joe, I don't have the medium that would be good. Got it. Very good. And what was the final thing I was going to say before starting is um, the, thing, the thing about this workout is it's different from the thruster toe to bar workout. I asked you on that day to try and bury yourself in the first round by getting all 21 thrusters and then trying to get all 15 thrusters at the expense of maybe taking a little bit of extra time to do that. Today, I don't want that to happen. I want you to, I want you to game it or to, to pace out round number one and two so that rounds four and five are going to go faster. So this is more like if we're going to do a five mile run, I want your first mile to be a warm up mile. I want the second mile to maybe be, go a little bit faster. I want you to hit the fastest mile at mile number three. And then on four and five, I want you to try and hang on. All right. And what that's going to do is 
for Eric, since he's going super heavy, it might mean not getting all of the deadlifts at one time, right? Getting 11 deadlifts, taking a quick break, hang power cleans up into two sets. And for everybody, even people going heavy, the idea is I'd like you to try and get all six shoulder to overheads, whether you're push pressing or push jerking, all six of those unbroken. So you don't have to bring it down, rest, and then get an extra clean to get it up to the shoulders. So I think we're ready here. Okay, I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds to find your position. I'll leave the clock here so that you can grab your time when you're finished. So no matter what, make sure that your first minute, your first round is under two minutes, but pace it out. Yeah, Eric? Good luck, we can't see the seconds. Oh, you can see it on my screen. Is that all right? More, more, more. I don't know. Or maybe it's just me. More? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Finally, um, so our Saturday workout comes up at noon. It's posted on CrossFit.com. But I just wanted to quickly read that this workout DT is in honor of United States Air Force Staff Sergeant Timothy Davis, who was age 28 when he was killed on February 20th, 2009, supporting operations when his vehicle was struck by an improvised explosive device. Timothy is survived by his wife, Megan, and his one-year-old son, TJ. That is who we're doing the workout for today. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Belly tight, keep that rigid neutral spine. All right, moving into those hang power cleans. And then no matter what, even if you have to take a quick break here, if your weight is heavy, take a quick break before getting in the ninth hang power clean so that you can then go up overhead and get all of them at once. All right. <clears throat> Here we go, Kim, dip and drive. Big pop, get three on the right, three on the left. Kim, on your hang cleans, you don't have to get into a squat at all. Right? Uh, you're muted right now, one sec. Go, go ahead. I was just doing a squat because it's so light. Okay, got it. That's fine. Okay. Yep, you can keep doing it like that. All right, into round two here. There we go, Pam. You can probably keep the feet a little closer together, Pam, on the push press. There you go. And in the dip, drive those knees out slightly to the side. Yeah, way to keep the chest up nice and tall, Pam. That's great. Belly tight and pop. Well done.
All right. Here we go, Eric. Couple of breaths. Elbows locked. All right, big jump. Pop. Really good. All right. Good deadlifts, Maria. Get a big jump on those hang power cleans. I know they're coming up next. That's 12. Big jump. Oop. <laughs> I miscounted. Good front rack position. All right, way to cycle through those, Maria. Those are solid. How many more do you need, Eric? Show me hands. Show me fingers. Oh, I can't see from over there in the front. There you go, okay, got it, that's perfect. Nice jerks, Maria. Good speed, Jordan. Jordan's on the spotlight here. What round is this for you, Jordan? Show me fingers, round five. Okay, we're at five minutes here. Yep, particularly with dumbbells, this is a grippy workout. Keep moving, Jordan. All right. I understand that idea, Eric. <laughs> All right, here we go, Damon. Big jumps. Your feet look good, Damon. Nice and solid to the ground. Balance between toes and heels. Take that quick break before picking them up on the cleans. Here we go, Jordan. 606, Jordan. There we go, Tib. Nice, Sandra. Big jumps. 556. Oh, okay. I started on my own clock. Oh, you did. Okay. The grip on the dumbbells. Yeah, I can tell. All right, Sandra. Here we go, Tib. What round is this round five for you, Tib? Six fifty five. Here we go, Sandra. Good jumps, Maria. Keep it up, Lori. Keep pushing. I see you out there, Cecily, in the shadows. All right, Andy. I think this is probably it for you, Andy. Seven forty five, Andy. Well done. Okay, here we go, Marcia.
Good jumps, good pop there. All right, going overhead next here, Marcia. Keep the chest up tall in the dip. Good push. 817, Marcia. Well done. All right, Eric. Here we go, Sandra. This is it, Damon. Cleans and presses. Today I'm gonna to have you guys type in the chat your name and time. Here we go, Eric. Can you get all of these? Keep pushing, Daryl. Stand up tall, Eric. There you go. All right, Kim, last set. Damon, your time is 9.34. Well done, Damon, 9.34. This is it, Tib, Eric. 9.53, Daryl. Maria and Andy are already doing their cool down, taking the bumper plates off. Joe's getting hers all set up. Go, Cecily. Here we go, Eric. Nice job, Kim. Hello, Eric. Last set, Eric. Here we go, Cecily. Last set. Cecily, 10.28. All of them, Eric. Here we go. Come on, Eric. This is it, Eric. Nice work. Ten fifty nine. Well, wait, well done, Eric. All right, I'm gonna have you guys uh, punch in your scores. <laughs> Today, Andy had a post-surgery yeah. Woo! Credit for that. That thing punishes you. Oh. All right. Really? So much. So I think we had a record yesterday with the number of workouts that we had. I think we had about 40 people yesterday. All right. I'm a, I'm a, You're echoing a little bit. That's Lori. Oh. I think there's two of her. Yeah. Yeah, it's because I. All right, good time. Uh, yeah. You're a, I'm, we're in the music. What? 
Yeah. Yeah. Leslie, that's a big bar. I think it's a 30 millimeter. I the 20. It, what's that, Eric? That was 50. We're saying 50, stop complaining. So you did two rounds at 50? I did two at, four, at 50 and three at 40. Okay. It was too heavy. I thought, Eric, you were choosing between 45 and 35. <laughs> no, that's nice. Come on. <laughs> that's good. I mean, that's a good, that's a nice finish time. Go ahead. <laughs> Finishing at the 10.55 mark. Way to go, Andy. That's a, a recent PR. Yay, Andy. Maria, what was your finish time? Uh, 7.37 with 25 kilos. 25 kilos. <laughs> you said that in Spanish, not French. I know. <laughs> Looking for a few eight fifteen for Marcia, eight seventeen. Tib and Sandra, do I see yours? Uh, fifty five kilo. Okay. Six uh, six fifty six. Okay, and how about Sandra? Uh, 20, uh, 20 pounds. 20 okay. pounds. And uh, 8, 32. 52 or 32? 32. 32. 32. Got it. <laughs> All so right. So, Mike, it, it, mine is uh, 745. Okay. Uh, 20 kilos. I have to, I have so many problems with the internet. Ugh. I'm on the iPad now and that's why it says NASC Corona One. Oh God. 2020. That's this, my new name. <laughs> Lori, it works real well. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the well. iPad looks good. I know, it's perfect. I just can't take it outside where I want it to be. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, I had, I had to bring everything inside. It well, won't. Does everyone, um, uh, I posted for a minute, yes, last night about the the CrossFit Open competition that's going on. It's the next three weeks. CrossFit headquarters today at noon comes out with a workout that they post at noon. It's a do at home open over the next three weeks. So tomorrow's workout is whatever CrossFit.com posts. Um, you okay, Tim? <laughs> It's whatever CrossFit.com posts today at noon is going to be our workout of the day tomorrow. Um, you can sign up for that event online. It's free. It is, if you want to make a donation, you can make a donation to any gym in the world that you want to. Again, I said this yesterday, we are not soliciting donations. We are happy and doing great with the fact that you guys are members of our gym. And um, please continue doing that. I signed up for free yesterday. And it will be fun just to put the scores in. It'll be something that we can all look to um, over the coming weeks. It's kind of like during the Open. We look forward to that Thursday night of getting together and seeing what the workout is. Today, look at your phone at noon and see what the workout of the day tomorrow is. And I'll have more to say about the workout in the workout preview that I publish on YouTube tonight, which will also be linked on the blog. The second thing I want to talk about in terms of something that we can do to gather around and uh, and rally around is this more than any other, more than almost any other whole life challenge that has ever um, been done before. I think right now is a really good time to do the whole life challenge. Um, it gives us another platform to communicate with each other that is not on text that we can uh, post a reflection every day. And I think more than any other whole life challenge in the past, I will be more interested and have more time to write my reflections and to read other people's and comment on other people's reflections. Maybe this time through, I'll be half as good as Pam is at posting. <laughs> to, dear Whole Life Challenge, today is day 32. 
and all of the stuff she puts, which helps me and everybody else in the whole life challenge. But that's coming up on April 11th. I'll send you a link to that later on. Um, but those are two things that I wanted to mention um, that are coming up. Um, anything from you guys? Nope. All right. Can we have a ski erg uh, component in the next watch on Sunday? Uh, uh, we will not have a ski erg, but you can make one <laughs> your own by taking two really so lightweight, two lightweight bands and pulling. I'm receiving mine today. <laughs> I'm receiving mine today. Oh, okay. Great. All right, we have another day. So, so Mike, do you have to sign up for the um, open before you see the workout? No, you can sign up anytime during the three weeks. You could sign okay. up on the last day if you wanted to. But I would just sign up to put your name up on the board, um, and it'll be fun. It's another place to put your scores. It's another leaderboard to check out every once in a while. Um, it's another place to, to check on a leaderboard and see that TSR Toomey is getting exactly twice as many repetitions that I am in the same exact workout. All right. Have a do good. Want, um, do, you, do you want to see what early April looks like in New England? Is it snowing? <laughs> yeah, but it's like cold, raw, and rolling, windy waves. Hopefully, I won't lose you as I head try and go outside. Can you see that? Oh wow, yeah. that's that's a little bit. Um, <laughs> a little rough. Are those Jordan's birds again? <laughs> You can see the ocean in Tibbs uh, in the background of Tibb. You can see the ocean in Daryl's. Daryl. So envious. How about mountains? my mountains? The mountains look great, Molly. Thank you. That's my front yard. Backyard, I don't know. Um, I wanted to put out an invite for you guys. Um, I am through Pepperdine Campus Rec. I'm still teaching Zoom yoga classes every week. It's geared toward the Pepperdine community, but if you have the link, you can join. Um, I'm gonna write the time, it's today at noon and Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. And I'm gonna put the link, I'm co copying the link right now into the chat. So you guys are welcome to join Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. Fridays at noon. Yay. Thank Yay. you. Yay. Okay, that's Thank all. Thank you very much. Hey, Daryl, is there anyone surfing right now out in front of your house? Because there were a couple of cars that parked. He's in bridge. Yeah, he's in bridge. He won't be able to get out of that for a while. <laughs> all right, guys, have a good Friday. Check right. your groups and your coaches during the week or during at some point today, telling them that you got the workout done. Even though you can see Matthew, I'm sorry, Jordan and Maria, everyone except for Matthew is here. All right, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.